Hi, my name's Olivia Wolfhart from BCS, the Chartered Institute for IT. I'm joined today by Ahana to discuss her experiences in studying computing and also why it's important that we engage more girls in STEM subjects. So thanks very much for joining me today, Ahana. If you could first um, introduce yourself to us, that would be great. Hi Olivia, thank you so much for having me. So um, hi everyone, my name is Ahana Chiba and I'm currently a year 12 student at Dr Challoner's Grammar School um, studying maths, further maths, computer science and history um, with a particular interest in computer science and just the fascinating world of IT in general. Thanks very much and I wanted to ask you like what attracted to you to studying computer science? So when it first came to choosing my GCSE options in year nine, which now feels like a lifetime ago, um, I was drawn to computer science, firstly, just because of how much everyone was talking about it at the time. You know, the phrase computer science of the future was just thrown around so much. And so naturally, I just kind of wanted to see what all this hype was about. And um, also, that was sort of around the age that I was being introduced to social media for the first time. And I just thought that maybe it could be fascinating to learn more about these apps that I'm spending so much of my time on and about how they actually work. Um, in addition, at that point, I had a little bit of experience with programming in various languages. And I found that program, uh, that problem solving element of coding quite appealing. Apart from the time that sometimes wasted searching through lines and lines of code for like a semi a missing semi code or something. But other than that, yeah, I, I did find that very interesting. Cool. And what are some of your highlights or the most enjoyable things being in your studies of computing so far? Well, just in general, um, for one, getting in touch with BCS has been a big highlight. Um, as the only girl doing computer science in a year group of about 200 students in my sixth form, I reached out to this organisation because I knew you guys were working hard to tackle this problem of the lack of female representation um, in this field. But never did I imagine that A, I would even get a response and B, that people would be so enthusiastic to help me in this endeavour of mine. I really feel like I have an actual voice to inspire change with the support of such a big organisation and I'm very excited for what's to come from this in the future. Um, so I also wanted to say that recently I've taken part in an on online work experience course in software development uh, offered by Deloitte. And I, it was a really big highlight for me because often I think the school curriculum doesn't fully mimic um, what it actually feels like to be working in whatever industry you may be interested in. It doesn't have to be computer science. So this work experience was a highlight because it was a very good chance for me to be introduced to the more corporate side of computer science and just take part in some more professional projects. Also, just generally because I'm at a point in my life when I'm thinking a lot about university and personal statements that kind of thing is on my mind so I've been trying to go beyond just the A-level curriculum and sort of immerse myself in more books and articles to do with computer science and just to broaden my knowledge and that's I think also been extremely interesting over just over the past few months so that's also been a highlight. Oh cool any um, books or websites or resources that you might recommend to other people like yourself? So currently I'm reading a book called Algorithms to Live By and it's a very interesting book because it's not that technical so I think anyone could read it and it just goes a little bit deeper into how much computer science is just involved in every aspect of our lives and every decision that we make. It seems like such a random thing but there's so much maths and just studies behind every little thing and it's quite interesting to see how all of that really works. So that's the oh, thing I would definitely recommend. Brilliant, thank you. We'll check that out. Um, now, I just wanted to pick up on a point that you you mentioned there about being the only girl um, studying computer science at A level in your sixth form of two hundred students. Um, tell me a little bit about what that experience has been like and what your thoughts are on that. Yeah. So um, when I joined the sixth, sixth form, I actually I came from a girls' school and I moved to a mixed school. So. Um, Obviously, I knew that there would be boys in my computer science class and that was not an issue, but I never imagined that I would be the only girl in a big year group to be doing computer science. So it was my first day and I was, so I was ready to take on the world. And I walked into my classroom and there was, it was full of boys and um, it was a little bit intimidating at the beginning. And I was, I remember sitting in my seat, just waiting for a girl to walk through the door, but no one came. And, you know, for me, 
it hasn't necessarily held me back or anything because um, I feel like the people that I work with who I'm in a classroom with, they're, you know, they're wonderful. But I do think it points to a much bigger issue, you know, that whole girls in computer science thing. And if you think about it, it's a big number. Imagine 200 students and out of those, just one girl. And um, so, yeah, it really made me think a little bit deeper about what this the bigger picture could actually be and if this is happening in my school I'm sure that it's not the only school where there's this lack of representation so it just made me think what I could do to fix this problem because of course we want more girls in the industry it's it's just it's essential yeah absolutely now tell us about some of your um, ambitions for the future whether that be around getting more girls involved in STEM or some of your personal sort of career ambitions as well so just thinking short term for the future, I'm considering studying a computer science course at a university in the UK. Um, thinking more long term, assuming everything goes well and I'm still interested in computer science after spending four years on the subject, because you know things can always change, yeah. but I'd be quite interested in traveling and living elsewhere for the time, whilst also pursuing my career, potentially in data science. And I think with the whole work from home movement that's come about in recent years, I'm optimistic that my location won't really act as a barrier to the roles that I could get in um, this field. And I hopefully will simultaneously get the chance to explore lots of new cultures and meet new people while doing so as well. That sounds like a really exciting plan. Good stuff. <laughs> um, now, you spoke before about the importance of making sure that um, girls are represented in computing and STEM subjects, and it's something you're really passionate about. Why do you think yeah. it's important that we get this right? Well, it's no secret that throughout history, women have, in terms of their careers and the impact that they have on society, they've been hugely constrained and limited for various reasons. Um, gender stereotypes have existed for so long and in some cases, literally since birth, probably unknowingly, girls are sort of conditioned to only follow a certain path with everything seemingly having this stereotypical bias, which just doesn't seem to put STEM and women in the same category. And that being said, we're obviously living in a more modern society and things are definitely getting better. But, you know, there's a statistic that in the UK and US, representation in engineering sectors is still as low as 10%. And I think it's so important that this changes because in having so much underrepresentation, all of women's potential work, discoveries and intellectual um, gifts, the field are just, they're lost. Technology is designed by being designed by engineers and scientists with diverse backgrounds can advance um, products and services for consumers who obviously have diverse needs. That's why we need more women in STEM, particularly women of colour and women scientists who have diverse social identities and backgrounds as well, so that we can make these products that are such a central part of our lives more inclusive. Absolutely. You know, when we were speaking about books before, there's a, have you heard of a book called Invisible Women? No, I haven't. It's a, a book all about different products um, that have been designed specifically with males in mind. So one example yeah. is um, the crash test dummies that they use for car crash testing all built around the male proportions and seat exactly. belts all designed for male bodies and stuff like that. So yeah, it's exactly that that you're talking about, right? <clears throat> making sure that technology design and the products that come out of it are, are inclusive for everyone um yeah exactly and building on that i was just i was looking into this a few days ago it just came up and i was looking into so obviously artificial intelligence mm. and the bias that exists in it and a real life evidence of this was that a few years ago amazon actually found that some of the technology they used to hire people was biased against women because all of the data that their artificial intelligence had been fed it was predominantly men so you know women just happen to get overlooked because of the data so yeah that's it prime examples of why we need more women working in this area um the last thing i wanted to ask you was um what advice you might give to anyone considering studying um computing for gcse or a level and beyond whether that is um women or anyone who's considering really um one thing i would definitely say is particularly to girls is not to be discouraged if you're the minority in lessons in school because i 
trust me, I understand that it can be very difficult. But by persevering, these women, these girls can be the role models to younger students who in sort of like a cycle who can then be inspired to take up computer science and I'm certain that this is how the problem will be solved and eventually we could live in a world where girls won't be a minority in the subject anymore so that's one thing I would say additionally I would just say as a general point that as I mentioned before work experience and online courses are a great way to learn more about the computing field and just how it can tie into real life. Um, particularly for people who are considering the techn technological field for a career, which I think people definitely should do because from what I can tell, it's such a broad field with such large varieties of different roles. And it really appears to me as if there is a place for everyone. That is an excellent message to end on. Thank you so much, Ahana, for sharing your experience and your story with us today. We really appreciate that and we'll speak to you again soon. Thank you so much. Thanks Olivia. very much. Bye. Bye.